I was diagnosed with stage three ovarian cancer approximately 12 years ago. And the first thought that came to my mind when I was diagnosed was about our, of our son who was in third grade at the time. I knew right away in my heart that I needed to be alive to see him through elementary school, in high school, through college, and I wanted to be alive to be part of his adult life. And so I was going to do whatever it took to conquer this cancer that was in me. Faith has always been the leading role in my life in whatever I do. And I knew from prior experiences and from miracles that I've seen in our family that this was going to take a great miracle to just have me reach those goals. And I might add as a side note that our son now is a junior in college and we're just I'm just so happy to be alive to see him flourish. Faith and believing in the Lord and believing in his word is what got me through every single day of the treatment and the surgeries and the care. And not only my faith, but the faith of the support that I surrounded myself with, my family, my friends, and all the people in my life that wanted to see me have this miracle because they were part of it too. I can you know, joyfully say today that I'm living my life cancer free and living my life the way I'd like to, doing the things that I want to do. When it comes to the Lehigh Valley Women's Cancer Center, they were such an integral part of my life during that phase and still are today. The treatment center was warm and it was very um, friendly and very personal at the same time. There were days when I went in and I one in my own space and I just couldn't talk to anybody and then and they respected that and other times I wanted to socialize and that was a treasure also of, of, in my memory. The nurses and the staff were just so warm I could ask them any question any time of the day and they would answer me. When I was diagnosed and I, I felt that the Lord brought Dr. Apahai into uh, my life every time I go into his office and, it, and still for my, my, my you know, checkups every so, mu so many months, I go nervous and that's very typical of any cancer patient, I'm sure. But the minute that I see Dr. al and we connect, my stress level goes down so rapidly because I know I'm in good hands. I know what he has done for my life. I know how he's helped to save my life and that he was an integral part of the Lord's plan in my life. And I just could never thank Dr. Abahai enough um, for everything he has done for me to um, continue my life and to continue it joyfully. I certainly would recommend the Lehigh Valley Women's Cancer Center to anybody, and I have over the years. I always say, get a second opinion if your doctor is someone else, because I know the value of the best of the best. And I've seen this over and over in other people that have gone other places. I, I just can't say enough about it. And a piece of advice I'd like to leave you with is that I believe we know our bodies. And in my case, I knew something was wrong inside my body. And I was determined to find out what it was regardless of how many doctors it took me to get my diagnosis. And so I think we have, as women, we have to be aware of our bodies. We know how we feel and we have to put ourselves first so that we can then put the other people in our lives first.